Hello guys, if you are trying to build IPFL on X Xcode 10, then if you see there's there's uh, no export options. Before if you use Xcode 9 or Xcode 8, there was an option to build your IPFL, but in Xcode 10, there's no option for that. The question is like how can you build IPA file on the Xcode 10? I'm gonna show you. Here you can see there's uh, no option for export on Xcode 10, but I'm gonna show you the new way so you can build IPA file you can send it to anyone in anywhere so they can test it you can see everything good here here's my project name here is generic ios device and my all the developer account provisioning profile everything is looks good and now i'm gonna do here you have to go your product if you see in your project file you have to find the product here's your product name whatever app name dot app then you have to go show in finder you have to open it <coughs> then this is your like a app file but this is not ipf file then you have to build one folder its name need to be same as a, this one it's payload i already have this one but you have to copy this one inside this folder and you have to make it as a zip folder and whenever it's zip folder you just need to change the name as a ipa use ipa and this is your ipa file you can you can install it on any device but everyone don't know how to use it i'm gonna show you the one more method to send to anyone with text message or email here is the one website it's called doi you can if you see there's you can put any ipa or apk or zip folder they will make it one link so you can send it to anyone through text message or any other way so they will click this link and they can easily install it any iphone which one is your udid identify by your developer provisioning profile and i'm going to show you how we just send it it's uploading onto your server it's done just send it and you can get the link and you can send this link you just copy it and email to anyone so they can install it but before send it to the this link you have to make sure the device you send it to for iphone the every iphone has a unique identify id is called ud id is already in your developer account in your provisioning profile you have to make sure so they can install it i hope it's helpful 
Thank you.